What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to the next test question. So a group of yeast cells grows by 75% every three hours. At 9 a.m., there are 200 yeast cells. Two parts of this question. So we've got to write an equation that models this situation. And then at what time will there be 500 yeast cells for part B? Now, this here deals with exponential growth. So we know in general, for part A, our equation is going to take this format. Right? I've been uh, talking about this format throughout the whole unit. Now, if you remember in the lecture videos, I mentioned that this format, whenever you have a exponent just t, with just the letter t, it's for questions where they say every one hour, or every one minute, or every one year. But whenever you have a number other than one here, so every three hours, every 50 years, every two minutes, this exponent is going to have a denominator, right? Let's call the, uh, let's just put a letter D there, right? And that number is going to go in the denominator. So for this question specifically, we can say that the uh, population in terms of T is going to be what? What's the initial amount? Well, 200. And they, uh, these cells are growing by 75% every three hours. So this bracket will be 1 plus 0.75. Remember, this R has to be in decimals. So you'll have 1.75 here to the power of T over, because it's every three hours, we would put a 3 there. Right? So whenever they say every hour, every day, every minute, this denominator is always 1. So we don't have to put the 1 there. T over 1 is just T. But whenever they have something other than one, then there's going to be a denominator there. And this t variable, this is the number of hours, in this case, after what? After 9 a.m. Because at 9 a.m., that's when the initial amount is there. So after 9 a.m., t is the number of hours. Right, so that there is the equation for part A. Right, so that's the answer for part A. For part B, they're asking at what time will there be 500 E cells? So notice that we're solving for time. They're asking what time, so we're going to be solving for the T variable. So the 500, we input on the left side for the final amount. So 500 is equal to 200 over 1.75 to the power of T over 3. So from here, what we do, we divide both sides by 200, right? So divide this side by 200 to get rid of that. Divide this by 200. So we'll have 2.5 equals 1.75 to the power of t over 3. And then let's continue this up here. So because we're solving for a variable that's in the exponent, we need to bring that exponent down. The way we do that is we take the logarithm of both sides. So we would have log 2.5 equals log of um, 1.75 to the power of t over 3. And then uh, we could bring that t over 3 down. We have log 1.75. We got log 2.5. Divide both sides by log 1.75. We're now just trying to isolate for this t. So we'll have log 2.5 over log 1.75. And this is going to equal t over 3. And then to get rid of this 3, we can multiply both sides by 3. So this we would multiply by 3. And then this we'd multiply by 3. And then those 3's cancel out. So basically, all of this, if you plug it into your calculator, that's going to give you the value of t. And when you do that, you would get 4.91, right, when you solve for t. So 4.91 hours after 9 a.m., that's when there's going to be 500 yeast cells. So what time is that going to be at? Well, four hours after 9 a.m., we know that that is what, 1 p.m.? What about this 0.91 here? Well, the 0.91, we have to convert to minutes. 
So 0.91 of an hour, if you want to know the minutes, you would take 0.91, you'd multiply it by 60 minutes in an hour, right? So if you had 0.5 here, half of an hour is 30 minutes. So 0.5 times 60 would give you 30 minutes. If this was 0.25, quarter hour, 0.25 times 60 would give you 15 minutes. If you want 0.91 of an hour, 91% of an hour, 0.91 times 60, that's going to give you about 55, 54, 55 minutes. All right, let's just call it 55. So basically at 1.55 p.m. That is the answer to part B. That's the time when there will be 500 yeast cells. So you make your equation, that's part A, plug in 500, right, for the final population. And then you just solve for t, just be careful with these logarithms here. You may want to go back, review the lecture videos where we solve for um, t variables. So you do all that. And then over here, remember, you got to convert that decimal to minutes. If they're asking for the time, you multiply it by 60, 1.55 p.m. That's the answer for part 